Hello, this is Amanda with From Where I Stamp in near Kingston, Ontario. And today we're going to do some pocket scrapbooking. And we're going to be using the daffodil dyes. And it's going to be very hard for me not to go daffodil delight because that's one of our colors. And I will be using that color today, um, of course, because it's, it's daffodils. Um, so I have my six by eight album here. In the little screen so we're going to switch this around and we'll get started so i wanted to share um it doesn't quite fit in the screen sorry i wanted to share some recent pages um you may have seen this one before look at that old baby bottle <laughs> and uh it's, my camera's not quite set up and the lights are kind of whatnot all right and this was another video I did. So I, I don't have this all filled. Of course, I've, I'm doing some prep for Christmas. So I was playing around with the, the Santa Express memories and more. So there's a sneak peek. Okay. So it was hard. I should have brought all these over before. It was hard to figure out something to scrapbook for the daffodil dyes. And um, so I just randomly picked some photos from uh, 96 or I think it's 96. Anyhow, so we are going to use, oops, I can get rid of my name now. There we go. Um, I'm going to use these two pages. And this is um, four three by fours, hair everywhere. This one's a four by six with two three by fours. And I have some photos ready to go. Now, the biggest thing to remember when slipping things into the pockets is that sometimes you might need to have your pictures or cardstock a little bit thinner than three inches because, um, because the pockets can be just a little bit off um, on size. Okay, so this one here, because this is 96, 95, somewhere in there. And um, my film camera didn't take the photo very well. I love that we have cameras now that you can see if the photo turned out rather than having to wait until you develop the, photo, the film. So a tip for you, have some vellum. A window sheet works as well, but I, I find that vellum is better to see the edges um, on the photo. So this one, I wanna take the four by six photo and cut it down to three by four so it'll fit in my pocket. And I just put this where I'd like it to go, line up my edge of my vellum to there, move the vellum out of the way, cut the photo, toss out the piece. I don't need the vellum again for this photo. And then I'm gonna cut it a little bit less than three inches toss out that piece of the photo because I don't need it either. So there is our three by four photo ready to go. So vellum, cut a piece and you're ready to go. Oops. Yeah, let's do that. I, I actually put them in the wrong. I put them in the wrong spot. So this is our dog Brandy from when I was a teenager. And look at that. Like, look at this. Look at my bedspread. Like, isn't that 90s? Like, look it. But I'm pulling the colors from it. I'm put, not putting this photo in yet because we're going to cover up that overexposed, underexposed, I don't know. What, what's the term? I don't know. But, whoops, one moment. I dropped my little, I don't know. They probably have a word for this. It's not a leaf. It's the stem, but the little thing at the end. So celebration ends August 31st. So next week, I don't know what day of the week it is, but Stampin' Up! has added some items to the celebration offerings. And Tuesday I showed how you can create a card using the seashell 3D. And it's over there. Here's the card. So if you missed it, go back and look at my previous video because it'll be there for you. And just like this video, there's a list of the pro products I've used down below um, in the description. And 
it will also has a link to where you can purchase the items from my store. So Stampin' Up! added this die set, which I love daffodils. Um, so if you place a $120 order before shipping in taxes in Canada, then you can choose this one for free. And um, I just had to get it. I might get the stamp set, but to make my own daffodils, that is just awesome. All right, move some things out of my way. So I have one made. I made one ahead of time because it takes a little bit to put these together. So what I'm going for here, so we got leaf, leaf, stem, cover up that piece there. But I also wanted to show you that I have some, so this is garden green, very vanilla and daffodil delight. This is mossy meadow, very vanilla and bravo. I think it's, is it bravo burgundy? What is it? It's been so long. Why don't I remember? No, it's Mary Merlot. Bravo Burgundy is a really old Stampin' Up! color. So forgive me. Um, so Mary Merlot. I like that name better. Okay, let's, let's, um, what am I going to do with these? It's almost like I need like a little plate or something. Just slip that over there. All right. So with these dies, I have pre-cut some pieces. Now I recommend using adhesive sheets and I've just cut pieces and then it goes on the back of the cardstock for when you put it through the dies. And then we're just going to slip off the, the glue on the, um, the piece on the back. Why can't I think of the words? I'm so sorry. All right. So this backing, which is a pain to get off some days, I find tweezers or a pin or maybe the edge of your, um, I really can't think of the words. <laughs> Take your pick tool. You could use that too. All right. So I have a So Saffron already cut and the Daffodil Delight piece. I'm actually going to start from the top because the other one I started from the bottom and it was a little off kilter at the top. So there, that works. So this one, I was a little off. You can kind of see the very vanilla. No one's going to really notice. This one worked a little better working from the top down. And then we have, oh, let's put the little one together. So this, I think this is a little, like a little tulip, not tulip, little daffodil that hasn't popped yet. So we're just going to go like so. So there's, there's our little one. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me, glue dots. Glue dots are your friend some days with putting these pieces together. We're going to, I think, I think, we're going to put that like that. I don't know if that looks right, but we're going to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they almost need directions on how to put this together. But if you layer them all together, and as long as it looks like a daffodil, I'm sure you'll be just fine. So <clears throat> what I did with the other one, I used some dimensionals and just two because I wanted to create dimension because flowers are not flat. They're more 3D. And that's why you layer all these, like the intricate die on top and the intricate die on top. And we're going to go like that. So there is one daffodil. Here is the other daffodil. And then there's a little daffodil. And I might make another one, but let's just cut some more leaves and stems. Move this out of my way. So I'm not going to use the adhesive for the leaves and the stems. This is the um, normal size 
the original stamp and cut and emboss machine. <clears throat> and it comes with everything. You can't see what I'm doing. Everything that you need to die cut and emboss. So we have the base plate, the die plate, two cutting plates, and the specialty plate. And the base plate tells you what you need for different things. So on Tuesday, we used the emboss, the um, seashell 3D embossing folder. We needed the base plate, the folder with the paper in it, and the specialty plate. Today, we're going to be doing some thin dies. So we have the base plate, the die cutting plate, and our two cutting plates. And we're going to use some garden green. You could trim it down if you wanted, but I don't want to put that there. And I like how they have extra dies, like duplicates, so that you can cut multiples. So like two of these with two of these, so you can layer those. Like you can cut quite a few of them without too much problem. Now, to get these to stay put, oops, we have some masking paper. I haven't used this yet. So we're going to trial and error this. Okay, so. Okay. Oh, I took two sheets. Oops. So because these, we're going to put them all together. I wanted to see how this masking paper worked. Whoopsie. Is this, that's not the sticky side. Okay, that's the sticky side. Okay. Usually with the um, adhesive sheets, the sticky side is the cut side. So if you're used to that, the masking paper, it's the non-trim side or non-cut side. All right, come on, behave. So something like that and something like that, just to get them to stay together so that I don't bend them against each other or hurt them so I can cut multiple, multiple times in the future. And then the masking tape or masking paper acts like, oops, it ripped. Um, okay. <laughs> acts like, um, what's the word I want? I'm not doing so good for words, but um, not tape, but, I don't know. Anyway, it works like a post-it note would. You can reuse it as many times as you want. Okay, I'm moving this over. On Tuesday, I didn't move that in my way, and it was in my way all the day, all the time. Okay. So back to our, so I think we have all the pieces. Now I am going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I think I'm just going to leave this one blank for now, because this is for my journaling. I might add on some stuff here. I'm not sure yet, but let's do this four by six. Now I would recommend that if you're using older photos like I am, please scan them in, take a photo of them before you cut. So before you cut them to three by four, make sure that you are preserving those memories. So if you cut something wrong, you can reprint the photo because it can be expensive nowadays to print um, film photos. Oh, I put too much glue in the wrong spot. That's okay. Whoopsie. Now I'm going to have glue on my table. Lovely. Let's grab some Kleenex and clean that up so I don't get glue on my photos. There we go. All clean. So make sure that you are preserving those memories properly and take a photo, scan them in. Oh, I guess I should put the daffodil on first. You could use a glue dot if you want, but, and I know I generally don't glue things directly onto the photo, but in this case, because it's a pocket page, and I want that look. Um, 
of tweezers. I feel like a surgeon here almost. So because I want that look, I'm going to glue items right on to my photo. Now you could put, um, oopsie, you could put a piece of um, cardstock down, vellum, vellum would be good. You would get the same look as my underdeveloped, overdeveloped old photo. I'm getting glue everywhere here. On my finger, on the table, it's just everywhere. Okay. I would next time suggest using adhesive sheets for the for the um, leaves. All right. So there is our daffodil bespoke brandy. His name is Brandy. And then we're just going to slide this right in. And there, it looks fancy. Oh, sorry, it's kind of glary. It looks fancy, and it kind of covers up that oopsie part. All right, now, because I mentioned embossing folders, we are going to emboss with the Timber 3D. Okay. A minute there, I forgot where I had put this. So because it's a 3D, I'm dropping things on the floor. Because it's a 3D embossing folder, we need the base plate folder with Mary Merlot, and then the specialty plate on top, and just like so. Oopsie, come on. I need to move you out of the way. Okay, over on the table. I don't usually have that table there. I got a big table. Then we have this wood grain paper. So nice and easy peasy. So I think I'm just gonna leave it embossed. Pockets don't have to be very fancy. Just a little bit of interest. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Very vanilla piece that just dropped. We're gonna do some stamping. Where? Okay, this and this. I'm going to do. I miss you. I used the same stamp set uh, on Tuesday. Oh no, that's good luck. Hmm. I miss you. Let's do that. You could you could use. Um, on Tuesday, I think I used uh, Bermuda Bay, so you don't have to use black ink if you don't want to. But we're going to use some black ink today. I have some extra lights, and they're making me weird. I'm getting my eyes. Okay. So I miss you. Put the lid on that so I don't get my project all covered in black ink. And just clean up just a little a little water on the simply chamois is all you need and i'm going to put this back so i don't lose it all right so we got i miss you i'm going to drop, grab my trimmer again because i kind of got it centered up and down so now we're just going to trim off that little piece and glue it Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I really do like making banners or flags. So, just a little piece there. Put a little bit of glue. Come on, glue. Glue. There we go. And then we put this on here. like so. And then that's kind of like our uh, title. I, I'm not, I don't like big titles. So using some stamps to, to use, like, have a title that way. Uh, here we go. All right. Now let's finish with 
getting pieces all over me. Okay, let's quickly finish up this. And I'm just going to put our... Uh, Griffin's complaining if you can hear him. Sorry. So we're going to put this stem here. Ah! The glue! Yeah. I much should have used adhesive sheets. Oh, well. I'll just cover that up with this. I'll know for next time. Cover it all up with adhesive sheets. Okay, and now with this other piece. And I, oh, I did cut another. Let's do this other stem. I guess I, oh, good. It does go the other way. Awesome. Now I used two different greens. So that way you'd be able to tell the difference. And then I think I could put this one on there. There we go, like so. Before I get glue on my table, let's just trim them all off. There we go. And then we have our little daffodil. Um, I guess that was supposed to go maybe behind. So let's let's just trim that off. There we go. It will fit. Yay. Okay. And then on the back, we'll put our little daffodil here. Okay. So this is, where's my lid? Better put the lid back on my glue before it dries out. This is our pocket page. There, that's a little better for you. So you can see, we have to put this in backwards from the other side. And I'll have to add my journaling in someday, whenever I think of what I want to say. So we have some journaling spot there. We have some daffodils here, embossed here, and a daffodil here. So I hope you enjoyed um, this project, Pocket Pages. Pocket Pages are my favorite. And if you have um, enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And as a reminder, the list of products will be down below with a link to my store. So have a great day.